So I've just treated myself to some retail therapy from Axminster Tools and Machinery. I bought myself a new bit of kit. Time to unbox and build. the belts 16 inches wide or 406 millimeters the bed height or the belt height is three foot from the floor or about 910 millimeters from the floor to the highest point is five foot or just over one and a half meters I'm using the uh, Record Power uh, Camvac dust extractor. Uh, it's a four inch port and I've reduced it down to the sort of right size port. So the dust port is two and a quarter diameter or 60 millimeters, probably 63. I'll just slip that over. Truthful, I'd, I'd have rather liked it to be a four inch port, but uh, this seems to work okay because that the dust port on the drum sander use the same for the uh, the spindle sander and it's same for the belt and the disc sander, they're all the same size, so makes life easy. In my eagerness to use it on the uh, the wood, I probably should have uh, took most of the finish off as it's 
clog this one up. But you live and learn. I uh, just want to see how easy it is to change it. The drum is five inches or 130 millimeters. I don't know whether this can be uh, recovered or not. The blind on the bottom. Clipped it. I've got to wait on there just holding it down. Keep it all straight up. I'm just using my setup blocks here to as a weight to hold them down. And we'll just give this a bit of a cut. Now at that end, it's got this funny little cutout. I wonder whether that's needed or not. I think while it's here, we're gonna do it. Can it be so bloody difficult, this? Sat in, push that right back. The slot appears. Just push that.
not getting excited with something that you can't get so what I found it's very fiddly to actually to finish it off uh, and with uh, trying it trying it trying it uh, I sort of I'm not sure weakened it but uh, it's lost its stiffness at the end so it was sort of instead of going through the clip it was going round the clip so what I've done I, uh, I put two super glue all on the end then I just put an old business card over it and then cut it to the shape and that uh, seems to do the trick a bit more straightforward we'll do the same process to that end because as you can see with having it in and out it's gone all curly whirly and it's very difficult to uh, to put it in through the clip so we'll just do the same uh, process Here we go. I'll try and bring you in closer. Press that in. Pull that back see just here now there's a little gap so we need to feed that straight down and with, and with that piece of cardboard and it makes it just make it a little bit easier he says Seems good. Piece of rough cherry, try that. See what happens. I'll put the dust extractor on. Probably should have run this through the planer before I'm. Well, I get in there. Little bit in the middle. I'll put it one more path. So in my limited experience, that seems to be the most straightforward way to actually uh, get a new belt on. Maybe a top tip. My main issue now is see uh, where I actually locate it uh, in my uh, little workshop. I've sort of uh, run out of room. And... Uh, this bandsaw used to be where the drum sander is, and at the moment it's just parked to one side. But uh, seeing I put it on the mobile base, I, I just get it out when I use it. I tend to use that just for profiling with this, a small blade in it. So one of the new projects is gonna be, I think, building a, a sanding and finishing area. And we're gonna do that outside the workshop into the garage. So we're gonna move, I'm not sure gonna not, we're gonna leave the wall there, but we're gonna build a, a separate room running up towards that toolbox system, the garage is big enough. So that's the Axminster Trade AT406DS drum sander. So it's sort of uh, 406mm or 16 inch. 
and then obviously because it's open then you can double it up to 32 inch or 812 millimeters there's a good discount 15% discount so uh, 699 pounds I was after one for a while that's a fair price I think well, let's see how we get on with it in future projects please comment like subscribe and all that see you again soon for another Tuesday tool review